Hi, I'm Molly Beckinsale and I'm a UK cross country national champion and uh, we're going to do some trail riding and cross country techniques today uh, as part of this MUK Essential Techniques DVD and um, I think they'll come in useful whenever you're doing a bike race or even just out riding the trails. Okay, right, the technique we're going to cover here is uh, line choice and racing choice. Um, here's a classic example, we've got choice of two lines on a slight downhill single track. The single track opens up with a couple of line choices and we're looking at here we've got two lines, one's a, a cut inside cut which is a lot shorter, one's a wider sweeping line which has got a bit of a burn. Now initially some people will come down they're thinking fast line, inside line, cut the corner you know using your apex but that's not necessarily the, the best way to do it. Sometimes you've got to think of the smoothest line and the line you can carry the most speed through the bend when you're talking racing, you're talking carrying speed, not necessarily the, the, the shortest line. Okay, first we're going to look on the inside line. Now this is a flat turn, a little bit rough, but that's not too much of a problem. But as you come in, you're going to have to probably scrub off a little bit of speed, cut the corner, and then you're out wide again. Okay, so you're using your apex of the turn. That's turn number one, and then the outside line, you're coming out sweeping wide, and then you've got a burn, a nice sweeping out line which then sets you up for the second trail. Okay? Now the reason you're going to have to be probably faster and you know the racing line on the second line here is you, you're carrying that speed through, you're not going to have to break as much and also this burn is super helpful because it means you can dig in, you can get your bottom, you, know, you can get your outside foot stuck into this turn and that will help keep that speed going. Okay? If you, on the inside you're going to have to scrub a bit of speed and also you've got a bit of loose and it's flat there's no way you're going to be able to carry the same sort of speed through on that inside line. Looking forward, coming on the outside, coming out of the turn here, coming out wide, you straight away set up for the, for the continuing sort of slight turn, which keeps going round before some technical rock sections. That speed and your straight line is setting you up for that next section. Okay, when you're looking at the racing line, you're not necessarily looking at one particular bend. It's how one bend links up to the next, or sinks up to the next section. The faster you can come out and the more comfortable you can come out of the turn, you're going to go into the next section faster, smoother and more confident. Okay, as we're coming up to the, the turn here, you've got to think about things on the approach. Okay, you need to set yourself up, it's like any corner, you need to set yourself up before the bend. Okay, there's no point in getting into the bend and then suddenly decide to make changes to your speed or your, or your, or your line, basically. So as we're coming up to the bend here, got a nice little fit of flat section here. If you need to make any changes in your speed, scrub off a little speed, this is the time to do it. So that when you're in the bend, you're off the brakes and the bike can roll as it wants to roll without you make, making any uh, drastic changes to it. Okay, so we're looking at the outside line. So instead of braking quite sharply and then turning in, we're just going to keep it rolling round. You've adjusted your speed, so now you're pretty much just feathering the brakes, merely just for confidence more than anything. And then we're going to cut into this corner Okay, outside foot down, getting in some, putting that weight on the outside of the bike, you know, kind of simple berm, berm riding really, and then following that berm round, okay, slightly out of the seat, you know, at attack position, with your weight on the outside of the bike, off the brakes, because you've done all your braking before. Okay, and then we're just going to follow that one round, all the way round, weight keeping on the outside, it's really taking advantage of that berm, and then literally you're going to roll straight out. As you can see from running through it, the outside line here is definitely faster. It takes you through into the next sections, carrying so much more speed. Okay, it's worth thinking ahead. It's never necessarily the shortest line, it's the fastest. You might have to think out of the box a bit. It might be the longer way around. It's actually the faster and the racing line. <laughs>